Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom My Three Sons. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. My Three Sons is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of My Three Sons. Tina Cole was born in 1943 in the sitcom she plays Katie Miller Douglas. In 1964, when she was in the series, she was 21, and now she is 80 years old. What would you say is the best way for two neighbor families to get to know each other better? You're not a true transplanted Californian, so you have broken bread and burned meat together at a barbecue. Started right. on that summer uh, on the Craft Summer Music Hall with John Davidson and right, and, you know. Um, George Carlin and Don Grady was born in 1944 in the sitcom he plays Robbie Douglas. In 1960, when he was in the series, he was 16, and sadly he passed away on June 27, 2012, at the age of 68. Subtract the difference. How's that again? Simple algebra. X plus Y minus Y equals X. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton. And um, you only go around once. Go for it. That's the thing you got to go for. That thing you really have a passion about. Uh, but you better be. Barry Livingston was born in 1953 in the sitcom he plays Ernie Thompson Douglas. In 1963, when he was in the series, he was 10 years old, and now he's 70. You're scared and want to stick around. It's okay with me. Uh -huh. I never get scared. It's just that you and Tramp will be lost without me. <laughs> back to the to the set once he started drinking you know they'd send over some assistant or some like young kid and go mister you know, for all you've got and you know go, oh, get that you know, get out. Cynthia Pepper was born in 1940 in the sitcom she played Jean Pearson in 1960 when she was in the series she was 20 years old and now she's 63 at our age because we're children say do you think it'll be crowded at the license bureau yeah, it's bound to be. They dish out more marriage licenses on Saturday than any other day of the week. Yeah, and Elvis and Nancy Sinatra from the Sinatra special exactly. and Speedway. Exactly. So I didn't mention that before, but yeah, that was interesting. I love Audrey Meadows from the... Fred McMurray was born in 1908 in the sitcom he plays Steve Douglas. In 1960, when he was in the series, he was 52 and sadly passed away on November 5th, 1991 at 83. Huh? Oh, nothing. I can see you have a problem, Chip. You probably get embarrassed when she does these things in front of your friends. Because I, I never felt that I was one with the horse, you know. <laughs> there was always some space underneath him. Stanley Livingston was born in 1950 in the sitcom he played Chief Douglas. In 1960, when he was in the series, he was 10 years old, and now he's 73. It's for me. Sure, it's for you. Yeah, I'll open it for you. If it's from school, I knocked Charles Terry into the drinking fountain by accident. <laughs> that was her first film, her first American film anyway. Yeah, she was uh, a smasher <laughs> to look at. Um, I didn't work with her. Tim Considine was born in 1940 in the sitcom he plays Mac Douglas. In 1960, when he was in the series, he was 20 years old, and sadly he passed away on March 3rd, 2022, at the age of 81. Well, uh, it was named after Mr. Bryant, who was an itinerant pots and pans salesman. Now, one day his wagon fell completely apart, so he decided to stay. We weren't in school. And as a child actor, you know, they have to uh, school you for three hours out of an eight-hour day. So that's, that's very inconvenient. Ron Troop was born in 1945 in the sitcom she played Polly Williams Douglas. In 1963, when she was in the series, she was 18, and now she's 78. He's a little apprehensive about your staying out too late at night, and, uh, well, I can't say I blame him. Good night, Mr. Douglas. See ya. Beverly Garland was born in 1926 in the series she played Barbara Harper Douglas. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 43, and sadly she passed away on December 5th, 2008, at 82. 
Well, now, now there's a man who, who can't wait and see. I mean, he has to react almost by instinct, wouldn't you say, Mr. Douglas? Well, not completely. William Domares was born in 1892 in the sitcom he plays Uncle Charlie O'Casey. In 1965, when he was in the series, he was 73 and sadly he passed away on December 28, 1983, at 91. But then in, it didn't move. You like always going away on ships, Uncle Charlie? Uh, like some clown once said, I must get down. John Gallaudet was born in 1903 in the sitcom he played Bob Anderson. In 1960, when he was in the series, he was 57 and sadly passed away on November 5, 1983, at 80 years old. Hey. <laughs> I will say it's a little difficult to try to compute star magnitudes with those baby blue eyes looking at me across the drafting table. Well, don't let those baby blue eyes fool you. Behind them is one of the sharp... William Frawley was born in 1887 in the sitcom he plays Michael Francis Bob O'Casey. In 1960, when he was in the series, he was 70, and sadly he passed away on March 3rd, 1966, at 79. How's he gonna turn to work today? Well, if he keeps on flooding like that, he won't have to drive. He can float to work. Don't oh, any more sugar. Plenty of sugar. Don Lynn was born in 1963. In the sitcom, she played Dodie Harper Douglas. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was six years old, and now she's 61. Was made. Oh. I think we're the luckiest two girls in the whole world, don't you? Yeah, I love Daddy, even when he snores. <laughs> when we reflect on the incredible journey of my three sons that took place between 1960 and 1972, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.